All right, folks, so we planted our seedlings two weeks ago. It's been just a little over two weeks, and I wanted to show you. With the heat lamp, since I don't have warming pads underneath, you use the heat lamps to keep the soil warm. Hey, but guess what? Heating pads are on their way. Uh, they're on their way. But these have germinated. I think I have about a 97 to 8% germination rate. So they're all up. Tonight's going to get cool, so I'm going to turn the heat lamps on them again and keep them uh, warm in here. And uh, we'll water them again in the morning. So, look great. And we're proud mm -hmm. of them. These are bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, our broccoli. broccoli. We got some tomatoes, tomatoes, variety of tomatoes. We got some peppers, um, pepperoncinis. I can't remember oh, where they're at. Yep. Here they are, pepperoncinis right here. Um, so, all right, follow up with us. We'll show you when we move them to bigger cups. Hey guys, Eric, Denise, Peer Hill Farms. We are transplanting seedlings, right? Yeah, we're well, we're up potting since we've still got about four weeks before our scheduled last frost date. Easter's early this year. I think it's the 9th of April. So we have had frost at Easter, but hopefully we're going to up pot these so that if we do need to keep them in the greenhouse or keep them somewhere safe, we're going to up pot them to from this to something like this. Yes. These are some old bonnie plant things that we had laying around. We'll start up potting these pla plants to those and to some red solo cups so that the plants can grow bigger in those mm -hmm. um, and hopefully last four to five more weeks before we plant them in the ground and we'll have big plants. And one of the reasons we do this is um, if you go to the store and buy a tomato plant once you get it this size, it's probably going to cost you five bucks a plant, um, depending on the area you're in. Maybe a little cheaper for. Sometimes you can find them small like this when that season time comes, and you might get that for six or eight bucks. Um, but we planted, you know, a few dollars worth of seed, and we have all those tomato plants, and spent some money on some potting soil. Um, which is not going to be much comparative with all the plants that we're going to up pot. So we're going to up pot these, have them available, and um, save us a lot of money. So um, we'll show you how we're doing it and let you see these stalks are kind of tall. You see how lanky those are getting? And basically we plant them deep and cover that all the way up to just below the leaves. All that stuff will help start taking root and give the base of that plant a bigger root system. And so that's what we're going to be doing. Probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but this is this is the way we're doing it. But I, um, I'm just spooning the thing out and covering this up. I water went ahead and watered oh. these because this dirt will settle down, and okay. I'm trying to get it where this will support this plant the best that we can. You know, we try to do as much as we can on the cost conservative side. Things are, as you know, expensive now and just seems like it's getting worse. So whatever we can do to save, we, we try. And the uh, nice thing is these things are reusable. I mean, eventually they start to dry rot or break, but if we have them, we'll use them. And then if not, the good old standard solo cups work pretty well. You know, I'll just take this little spoon, this, I, I've kind of moistened the dirt, I can go down the side of it and just spoon the thing out and set it in. Spoon it out, 
set it in. I think I got ants on me. Mm. <laughs> Nothing like getting ant bit. There's some I know ants they hurt. Connected. Nasty boogers. That's my reward. <laughs> Ooh, it's stinging. Stinging, stinging, stinging. Still stinging me. They're probably still biting me. Let's see. I'll have red things all over my hand now. Should have paid more attention to that. Well, you don't expect it when you're doing this for them to be up under there. All right, so that gives us 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 4. One has two. 45 Amelia tomato plants. And that'll, that'll be uh, filling up these raised beds. We'll probably be able to put them 40 right here in this raised, first raised bed. And then we'll use the other raised bed for other brand of tomatoes that we have in here. And so I'll, Eric's going to water something real quick and then I'll water these and then we'll tr move these in and get our next type of tomato out and start writing names on these cups because uh, I know these Bonnie, all these Bonnie cups are going to be Amelia, so I won't forget that. So um, can we set them on the shelf with one of the um, steak things right there? I got the white ones and... Uh, yes. Yeah. Let's see here. These little steak things I figured would work better than my makeshift <laughs> uh, drinking straws. There we go. Maybe that'll work. I hope I'm going to do it this side and just put Amelia at the top. Like that, so we have it on both sides. So maybe that'll work. So he's cleaning this out. We're going to go try to find some bread trays that are in the barn. Maybe we could sit the plants on there and get them where they could be transported outside into the sunlight on good days. At least that pond's coming up. Yeah, I know. It's a beautiful sight. Hello, Esther. Hey, we hear you. What Making are y'all noises. Doing? Besides being. Making noises. I hear you, girl. You want some loving? Is that what you want? Hmm? Huh. Is that what you want? Look at her. Look at I her. I see you, Mouse. Hey, Zebulon. Hello. Say hi. Mwah. Oh, you're just sweet girls. Oh, you sweet girls. Hello. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. I got to go get to work. He found some racks. Y'all got me distracted. Time to go to work. Watch them. Watch. I'm running. Look at him. <laughs> Always wanting something. Always wanting something. We're going to see how this works. Probably need to put the double on the end. Oh no, you're not going to have enough room for all of them. Be close. Nope, you're going to have, have two shot. left. <laughs> But still, that's a whole tray full. When you're done, I, I need to water these. Well, I fertilized them last week, and it says every two weeks. So I figure if we just wet them and then... What's that? It's liquid fertilizer, so it shouldn't hurt them. Chase is here. Hatch and sell some chickens. If you read on... If you read on uh, mm -hmm. Like on pulse and stuff, he, like they say you feed them like every week. They're uh
So drilled holes in some, some cups just to give us a little bit of drainage. And the key with that is we don't, you don't want to like overly water them, just moisten them each day and that'll, but you'll have some drainage if you do get a little too much. But we're just putting a little bit in the bottom because we want to cover most of the stalk with the potting soil. And these are going to be the better boys. They're better. Better boys is what they say. I don't know. And we got Bellarosas that will plant too. But like I was telling them, Jace, the reason we do this is if we get once we get a tomato plant this big, it will cost us about five dollars a plant. <laughs> Yeah, and we're we're paying, you know, just. Well, these uh, are five weeks old, mm -hmm. and they look pretty good. You know, they're not too. I I wouldn't say they're leggy, but if you look at the tomato plant, the little I don't know if y'all said this already, but the no. li the little hairs on it. Let me go in there and look. The mm -hmm. little hair, all those are roots. So mm -hmm. when you plant that, that just makes more mm -hmm. roots. Mm -hmm. Come over here, DC. You can see it over here. So we can plant it just under our stem there. You don't want to plant them too deep because you don't want soil splashing up on your leaves. That's where you get diseases at. Mm -hmm. But you plant it deeper so, I mean like this one, you see how tall it is. We mm -hmm. can plant at least half of that mm -hmm. to right up there. Mm -hmm. It'll make more roots. You'll have more roots in your plant and a sturdier plant. And then it'll just, like Uncle Eric said, at the store right now, about three bucks for this size, and we got this is a one sixty two. Well, I seen the other day the cupped up in them cups like he just done are six ninety nine for six. Right for six, and we talked about that. We talked about it in the video about six to eight dollars probably for. Um, so I need to get where my little spoon go. On the ground right here. But I mean, you know, they usually sell them in four packs. And like Dad said, that six dollars for six of them. So, I mean, we got half over half a tray planted. Use the other end of your spoon. Yeah. For about, for about what? You know, we got the soil. For, Look at the root system on that. You see and that? tomatoes, don't worry with tomatoes as much if your whole plug don't come out. They don't mind being bothered. Their roots don't mind being bothered as bad. Is some of the other plants. Mm -hmm. Some of the other plants don't like their roots being messed with, but tomatoes, you can you can do this and pot them up and make them bigger. They're very resilient. But like you know, I mean, if we have a hundred plants here, you know, that we've got planted for six dollars, mm -hmm. you know, and you you're spending, you know, we spent, you're you're spending minimal. Six dollars on, you know, six plants, a dollar a plant. You know, you're looking at pretty much over a hundred dollars right here after tax is included. And we've done it for about about six bucks, you know. Right. And we got more. I mean, we got more tomatoes. We got more peppers. I mean, we got all this. Oh, I'm quiet. Those are done. All right. So let's water it. Look out, big boy. Watch out, Colonel. Wait a minute now. Oh, I got another one right there. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. Oh. Yeah. Hey, where's a, you got another cup? On quick? I just need one cup. Yeah, right here. Get two plants. Wait. All right, so we're back today to finish up the what's you call well, it? We finished the potatoes, we finished the broccoli being planted. Jace got off, and we checked on our worm status and added some food and some dirt. 
So we, we're wanting to see those worms multiply. Now we're trying to finish transplanting these tomatoes. What's it called, up what? Up potting. Up potting, I'm Basically learning. Basically we're taking them out of these little seedling trays and putting them in cups. And hopefully they'll, they will live in these cups for the next few weeks, four, four weeks or so, and get up to a good size plant before we How'd actually put plant them in the ground. And um, so this up potting, you can show them a little picture of the ones we up potted the other day and how well they're doing. And uh, Fish one got in my eye. dirt. Uh oh. Better watch niece niece. She'll throw it on you, boy. Ah, uh, he threw it on herself. Is what he did. I feel it all on my eye. You're supposed to blame it on somebody else, Betty. Glenn is gonna get. We have some leftover broccoli that we're going to give Glenn. He's already got his tomatoes that he's getting ready to up pot. And we've got some broccoli left over. We're going to give him some broccoli. So he Aren't can we have nice? Him some broccoli. Don't brag. And, um, bring y'all some parsley. Right? Yeah, he's got some parsley, baby. Good. I need and, to uh, wait, I, My parsley died. Thank so, you. yeah. And we're going to give Kyle some broccoli. He's interested in getting a little bit too, so they can have some. It's a wonderful thing about this is we can share yeah. all of our. And it's fun doing the work sometimes. Well, yeah, when sometimes. you have. Sometimes. Listen, Levi, Levi, I'm telling you, when you get older, you'll look back at these days and these videos and you'll be like, those were the best times in the whole wide world. Won't mm -hmm. Won't she? Won't he, Danette? Yep. Uh -huh. And of course, again, the bosses are around. Uh, it don't matter. You take it. You're putting. I'm, take I'm it taking it this up. I'm skipping up. Tomatoes don't mind. We're going to soil that. Yeah, here's a double here. You know? Yeah, so pull it out. Why are you this putting is, different soil in the bottom? It's potting soil. It's got fertilizer so, and. There you go. Like, uh, I have to dump it in here and make it about this much in here. And then I come right here and I just set them right here. Uh -huh. And then Uncle Eric takes them from there and pulls them out and puts them in the cup. And Nisi fills them up. Yep. Is that eight plenty? Yeah. Then got you. Yeah. I mean, two, two pots, four in each, you know. Yes, sir. I'll take that one. Here's you another one. Thank you. What are those, Eric? These are the Bella Rosa tomatoes. And then the next ones we're going to do, pot up, are the Mountain Vineyard. Which I'm excited about those because Greg at Hostel said those are one of his favorites. So we've got. So I'm anxious to see what. The mountain the, Vineyard ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I know. And I'm interested in seeing the difference in the taste. Yeah. So of these those. are. Um, so we'll have four varieties, and then Jace has uh, four of a, a different variety in there that are real small right now that he wants to experiment with. And um, so that'll give us Amelia's, Better Boys, Bella Rosa's, Mountain Vineyards. So. Uh -oh. And I think I may invest in I may invest in some drip tape for these tomatoes this year. I'm really, I'm yeah. Um, so we can drip tape them and and run water on drip for them. And then run liquid fertilizer through them Wait, to help. Does Haas Tools have a good drip tape instead I, I, of buying the Walmart? Gonna, well, kind. that's what I was going to do. I was going to look and see what Greg had at Haas Tools for good drip tape. And um, ooh, I need some dirt. Uh oh, he's he's getting you some. He needs some dirt, buddy. He got two down there on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, here's one too. Thank you. Oh, actually, this is mine. I'm filling with. Uh, I was gonna fill them yeah, that's apart. fine. I was going to fill this whole thing up, and then I was going to do it. That's fine. I'm, I'm just going to keep grabbing as I'm planting. Okay. okay, pour that in there. So we just about got all we, that we need in here. How many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five. Hey, if you six, want to plant seven. them, just write Bella on, on the with a magic marker on the outside of those cups. The outside the cup. That's right. 
Just put Bella. Will we be able to see it when we put the dirt on it? I'm sure we will. Dearborn. Dearborn. I've seen those before. Oh, he's sweet for sure. How many with bell roses we got? Look how, look how when you, you saturate that, and it, you can tell it how it doesn't go all the way down the soil. Right. Isn't that crazy? One, two, three. You really four, have five, to wet it. Isn't that crazy? Six, seven. That's, that's why they say a wet Fill it, let it water it from the bottom. I got you. Problem with watering from the bottom is you get diseases. But look, look, see, I mean, like, well, that one it's hard to tell, but uh, you can see, it right there. see, it's here. It goes. It's going down there. Isn't that crazy, though? It's all, right. all right, let's see here. That's seven. What are these? Hang on. Those are better boys down here. What is it? This is all of these all from here to here is better boys. So, so that, about okay, six so of this those. right here is some more Bella Rose. Yeah, these are Bella Bella Roses right here. Two, three, four, five, five better boys. Six better yeah, boys. six more, and then we got about six more Bellas. Okay, and what is this? Jalapeno colossal. It's going to be to there. Tabasco is here. Bell peppers to here. Mm -hmm. What's this here? Huh? What's That's that? the pepper I'm seeing. I just gotta take it out. Oh, I'm sorry. And then this is jalapeno. Okay. So we got we got some plants now. Sure enough. <laughs> All right. So you'll have to turn it long way like that one. There you go. Those are the mountain vineyards. Yeah, look at those over there. It says longer wiry stems. We'll see how they do tomorrow. I, I may put the, I may leave the lights on in here tonight just to stimulate them to stand up. They with were some, standing up. With some warmth. But when you water them, they, they kind of wilted over. A lot of that may be just. Oh, to... So what I'm gonna do is probably kick on this light, let it be warm in here, like that. Do you need another light? No, I think these two are gonna be good. I'm just gonna... Cause there is a light out by the um, goat pen. I'm gonna kick it on like that. Okay. Yeah, as long as they're moist, we'll we'll just. Check well, they, the, they had a lot happen to them today. We'll check the water tomorrow, but we'll let the heat stay move, on tonight move, buddy. so they stay move, buddy. warm. Ah, there you go, Jace. Look at there. Is that good? How are we doing? We're doing good. Are we good? All right. So we got them all up potted. The peppers. Um, Jace said we're going to leave those for a few more weeks before we up pot them. But they all look good. Um, and we've got them labeled. All the tomatoes are up potted. We had just enough room on the top shelf. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see if these will perk up tomorrow. We're going to leave the light on them tonight just to be a little warmer. And uh, temperature is supposed to drop tomorrow. So we'll just keep the light on them and keep them warm. I hope they perk up. Yeah. They should. Tomato plants are pretty resilient. <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, these right here, you can see are very perky. So yeah, and the ones we planted see. yesterday, they perked up nice. Yeah, they look good. So hopefully these will return the favor. Okay. All right. We got so, them planted deep, like we said, so they should start making roots. Productive day. And so. Yep. So today we got the potatoes planted. Broccoli. We got the broccoli planted, and we got all the rest of the up potted stuff up potted that needed to be up potted. So. So one more step closer to a summer garden. Yes, working our way. Mm-hmm. And. Our motto is a simple life. Yeah, is a a simple life. I'm not so sweaty this time, but it's it's a much more enjoyable, enjoyable life. life. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.